Today, I'm going to be trying to beat Total Warhammer 3 using only cavalry. I'm going to be doing this with Bretonia, similar to the last campaign. But, instead of leading a peasant revolution and establishing the Communist Party of Bretonia, we will instead be leading the knights to destroy them. The problem is, knights are a little janky. Cavalry in general in Warhammer 3 is a little janky. If you can't get a clean, perfectly executed hammer and anvil, shit can get really weird really quickly. Sometimes they get half their models stuck in an enemy unit, and sometimes they just don't really do any damage when they charge. You have to be very careful when using them. We're going to be playing as Alberic the Bordelobe, mostly because of his starting location. He's all the way down in Lustria, which should be pretty interesting. Also, he gives a significant buff in his army to Knights of the Realm, and Knights of the Realm already are pretty damn good without that. Uh, so with that bonus, they are really, really good. He does also buff peasants, but not, like, enough to make a significant difference. He really is all about those hammer and anvils, except for we won't have any anvils. We'll have two hammers. As always, we're going to be doing this on very hard campaign and battle difficulty. Uh, we're going to start by going up against the Lizardmen here, who I have not fought for a while. And I am going to be quite rusty at using cavalry at the beginning here. We're going to be immediately building this up because I want to get Knights of the Realm specifically. They are very, very good, uh, especially with that plus 10 melee defense. 38 melee defense on cavalry is nothing to scoff at, especially with 90 armor as well. Now we have a very nice army here. We have foot squires, we have peasant bowmen with pox arrows, we have men at arms with shields. We have to get rid of all of them except for the Knights of the Realm and the Paladin. So we do actually look like we might auto-resolve this. That is a pretty good balance of power here. And we do auto-resolve that with no losses. I really don't like the Soros Spears, they are very dangerous, they have effectively 40 melee attack against us, 16 bonus versus large, and that is over 50 weapon strength as well. We'll never have a great way to deal with anti-large units here, so we're just gonna have to try to do our best. I want to get a good clear charge onto like this one unit here, I, I can't really fight the Soros Spears, but I can kill all the rest of them if I can isolate them. Okay, just immediately back off, immediately back off, that was good value, just quick little charge, get the fuck out of there now. Oh shit, they immediately encircled that. Oh fuck, I didn't think they would. Yeah, this is this is a little tight. I did not think they would immediately clump up on me this much. Okay, that was a lot of damage there from that charge. We're gonna swap out of this now. We're gonna stay in until these guys break, which should be a couple seconds. Okay, one broke, two broke. Okay, now we can back off. Now we pull out. Okay, they're very spread out here. That's making them a little hard to charge, but... Uh, it looks like we can more or less just plow through. Oh yeah, look at those skinks flying! Oh, wow. Wow. That was good. Uh, mm, that's, that's bad, though. This is bad. Yeah, the Soros Spears are gonna fuck us up there if we stay in. Uh, we are chasing these guys down. And this should be a good charge right here. Mm. Not the best charge, but not bad. Not bad. That should break those two units of Skinks remaining. And I think their Lord... Is he dead yet? Oh, yeah, he just died. He just died. And that's it. They're done. I think we can do this. It is going to be very difficult in the micro sense. Uh, much more so than with any of my previous campaigns, to be honest. Oh yeah, we'll grab that immediately. That is going to be huge for us. There are only units right now, so incredible. And then, but boom we should auto-resolve this, I think. Medium casualties. I think that's probably realistic, yeah. That's probably about right. Well, we can't get uh, Knights of the Realm. I do want them, I would prefer them. But I'm going for a bit of speed here. I really want to get some Knights Errant. I just want to make this army stronger. I just need more units. Yeah, next turn we go for that. Pretty simple. I think we can take that. We just barely reach here. Ooh, we do not win that in auto-resolve. It's a settlement battle. How the fuck are we going to use these Knights in this settlement? Well, I have an answer for you. We're not. We're just going to wait for them to sally out. <laughs> yeah, if they don't sally out next turn, or over this end turn rather then I will just attack this, but it's it would be painful. I don't want to. Ooh, Luther Harkin really moving up there. Okay. All right. Close victory. No units lost, but medium casualties. I think I can take pretty low casualties here. Gonna set up there, set up here, and set up there. We do have an opportunity here to potentially get at some units that are not gonna be able to defend themselves well here. Yeah, we're gonna try that. Uh, they just gave me this for free. Those units are dead now. That unit's about to die as well. That's a lot of damage right there. Okay, we're gonna back off now if we can. You go over there as well. And over here we're killing them. Over here we're killing them. Uh, we are isolating some units and getting some value, but... 
Oh, that's bad. That's so bad. This unit's just fucked. This unit's just... They're just gone. Maybe they can get out partially, but they're mostly just cooked. Go up to hill, charge down onto these guys. That's gonna be massive. Oh, this is a bit of a clusterfuck. Honestly, a lot of them are breaking there. We might just be fine staying in. For the most... Oh, that's massive damage. They were at full health a second ago. The Kuroxagar Ancient there is the only reason these skinks are holding. If he wasn't right there, they would not be. Okay, two of our units are coming in. Oh, yeah, it's crushing them. We're crushing them. Just physically crushing them in between our knights. They're, they're, look at this. You can't even see the skinks. They're so compressed. There's so many skinks per square meter here. They would be crushing themselves and dying. Is that it? There we go. Army losses. Whole lot of dead skinks here. They're spread all around because they were thrown everywhere. Hmm. Not great, though. Not great. That was a Pyrrhic victory for sure. Uh, ooh, yeah. They got wiped out early. Turn four? They usually stick around for a while. I really have two options here the way I see it. I can accept this piece here and start moving down here, heal up, get more units, and then wipe these guys out super duper early game. Or I can wipe this out and then I can move down here and destroy these guys, destroy these guys, and then wipe these guys out in the mid game. I'm going to go for this. I'm going to get that gold. And then I start moving back over here and I wipe out Luther Harkin. I don't know where he went there. But I don't think he's going to pose a threat to me before I can get ready to just wipe him out. I want to recover. I want to recruit a shit ton of units. And then I want to just absolutely demolish him. Yes, we go for this next turn. Moving up. He has a full stack now. But can he... Oh, he could reach here. So I'm going to take a risk here. I'm going to go for this. He's going to attack me. And then I think I'll be able to survive his attack and kill him. That might have been the same as Auto Resolve, really. Yeah, 32 losses. I thought we would have more like 12. And yeah, we just take this so that we can get some replenishment. And we will be attacked by Luther Harkon. I'm 95. Oh, actually, maybe not. That army's weaker than I thought it was. We actually win that in auto resolve. Yeah, I, they must have a second army there somewhere. I assumed their faction's balance of power was their entire balance of power for this army. I don't see it, but I, I assume they have like a small army somewhere else. We have the Blessing of the Lady now too. Oh, that's going to change things. 20% physical resistance on the whole army. That's really going to improve things for us. Oh, he's going to attack that. Or or not, he's just going to sit there and raid stance. And I can't get to any of his uh, settlements the next turn regardless. So I'll just wipe him out. Pretty obvious play here. Low casualty, auto-resolve. Wow. They don't even have any anti-large infantry. They just have the basic uh, mobs. That's what I was hoping for. Because eventually these guys would become ridiculously strong and hard for us to deal with. But right now they're just not. I mean, the list of units that I'm afraid of here is bloated corpses, deck droppers, end of list. I will fight this though, real quick. Just because I think this will be the only notable battle against this entire faction. And you guys also just go here. I, we have so many knights that I don't know what the fuck... You're, you're not supposed to have this many knights. I don't know what to do with them at this point. Uh, one on each side. Okay, so you go for that one. You go for this one. Uh, pretty simple. We take out those bloody... <laughs> they got stuck on each other. They got stuck on each other for like four seconds. Uh, we're gonna take out those bloated corpses immediately. Yeah, we're gonna see what we can do here. We might come through the trees and then charge them from the side. Okay, other bloated corpse dead as well. That's great. Yeah, you two are gonna charge in here. The deck droppers are landing. Why are they landing? Yeah, a couple of these are gonna be rough trades for a bit here, but I think they are gonna crumble very quickly. Oh yeah, that just the amount of, of mass that's coming in down here is going to wipe them out. They're so low on units now that I don't even have anything for the majority of my knights to do anymore. Like 90% of them are just gone. We did not take much damage at all. I would say that is about 15% damage on our whole army across the board. That was good. That was genuinely extremely good. A thousand gold value on some of these units though with very little damage. That is really impressive. And I can just chase them down and auto resolve them now. He had three armies? How did he have three armies already? I'm gonna go back to here. Uh, that is not good, but it's not bad either. If he takes that back, then I just go back and kill him. Today's video is sponsored by War Thunder. War Thunder is one of the most comprehensive vehicle combat games ever made. It has more than 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships that you can use in combined arms PvP battles, and all of them are incredibly detailed and modeled after their real-life counterparts. There are tons of different game modes that offer different levels of realism, whether you want a hyper-realistic combat simulation or just a fun, fast-paced PvP match. 
War Thunder has one of the most realistic vehicle damage models ever created, down to damaging individual components and crew members, and you can see exactly how each shot hits with their damage x-ray feature. My favorite part about War Thunder is the balance it strikes between realism, detail, and variety. Controlling a warship and blasting planes out of the sky by targeting their crew or vital components is an experience that you simply cannot find anywhere else. You can play on PC and current or previous generation Xbox and PlayStation consoles. Give War Thunder a shot today, and if you use my link in the description, you can get a free bonus pack to get you started. Now let's get back to the video. Ooh, pole arms, but otherwise shit garrison, and these guys have not recruited much and they don't have Luther back. I'm just gonna attack that. This is another situation of very easy field battle, damn near impossible settlement battle. I'm gonna try this one. Okay, immediately rush those handguns if possible. Some of them are running out, some of them are running in, none of them are really following the order. Okay, I'm gonna have to order spam here. Get on to them. Good. I, this side's gonna go really well. This side's gonna go pretty okay, except for that. That sucks. Uh, and then that last side, this one, is gonna be rough. Very rough. Oh, that took a while. That was not fun. I will hopefully never have to do any settlement battles with this army again, or any other cavalry-only army, really. But we're fine. We're fine for now. 255 losses. I think that I am going to sack this, and I hope I can get back to it in one turn. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. A little bit of damage. This guy's going to take that settlement. 9 out of 10. But then I can take it back pretty easily. Yep, he's going to take that. No problem. But it will take me two turns to get back there. That changes things right there. I can take a lot of this territory really easily, so right after I deal with these guys, pretty clear expansion down here. And then from there, maybe I can build up another army to deal with this, but uh, my main army with Albrecht is probably going to go straight for the Skaven after I deal with uh, the Vampire Coast here. And then from here, we can get to this in one turn. We can auto-resolve that. That's easy peasy. And yep, just yoink this. I don't know why the AI likes leaving itself in Force March within my range so often. Um, ah, oh, no, we can't actually reach it, can we? Hmm. Like, at a certain point, the AI should either just sit back and wait, or attack you straight up. Can I... Please, thank you, thank you. I can finally reach them. Ugh, oh, annoying little shits are now going to die. I really lose a unit there? I should not lose a unit there. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight this, and I'm gonna take absolutely zero losses. I could go for flanks and all that, but I don't think it'll be necessary, because these guys have... 90 mass, and I can probably just charge through them. Okay, we're getting some good charges in here. Ooh, the handguns are right there. Okay, make sure to pull through. Yes, we gotta attack those handguns, and overall this is looking good. This is the hammer and hammer I was talking about. It's not the most effective, but we can make it work. That was not a very compelling charge. This one was better, though. Oh my god, they just got flung. They survived, though, most of those models. But I think overall that unit is going to crumble now. And that's it. Close victory. Oh, Luther Harkin and a quarter of a stack there. Fortunately, I think I have enough to deal with him. We probably ought to resolve this, but I will manually fight it. We actually did take more damage than I thought from the attrition. Why Why did the camera start up here? How, how did the camera even get up here? I, uh, what? What? I'm not sure if I bring the camera down, if I can get it back up there even. Oh no, I can. You can just get the camera. I had no idea you could get the camera all the way up here. This is this is so cool. Wait, can I get onto this little thing? Holy shit, I can get up here too. <laughs> Weird map. I, I really don't like this map, but that is a cool little... Uh, I don't know if it's a bug or a feature. Let's see what this looks like here. They're clumped up and... Okay. Okay. Holy shit. There's just a wave of flying zombies. Oh, man the trees as well. Ah, uh, that's not as good, but they're dead or dying. Well, <laughs> they're zombies, so they were already dead before the battle begun. But they're almost dead again and dying again. There we go. There we go. Oh, those hammer and hammer charges. Luther Harkin completely destroyed. The Awaken are now asleep once more. Hopefully forever this time. And now we're going to be moving down to this. Oh, fuck. How did you even get there? What? Uh, they're not good, though. That That is a shit stack, but they could take this. And uh, we can't actually get any of these knights right now. We need to get that uh, vow on you first, Brody. <laughs> but yeah, lords without the vows that reduce the upkeep for the knights, the, I just can't use them. They need the uh, Pledge of Chivalry to be at all useful. <laughs> 525 gold upkeep for knights errant. I, I cannot afford that. I can't justify that. That's insane, even in this situation. 
I might even force March to encourage them to attack me, although that is a little bit of a dangerous game. It might be one that's worth playing here. The problem with the Skaven is that it's going to be a death by a thousand... Well, Skaven. It's just doing well. They are moving out against the Skaven. That's good. Oh, oh, that's annoying. Okay, I think I can attack that. It looks like we can, and I think we might be able to get them even if they back off. Maybe not, maybe not. Not quite. Shit. They're not even playing to win or do well. They're playing to be as much of a nuisance as possible. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I don't want to fight that shit. <laughs> I'm good. Low casualties, 177. That's pretty realistic. No units lost. I'll take that any day. Really would like a trade partner. Nobody wants to be that right now, though. We're getting close to a point where we're going to be able to support two armies. So I do want to get this guy ready with at least this first vow. Okay, pretty good recovery. And then we start just bum rushing this. Even if you declare war on me, please don't actually attack me. That's just fucked up. And now I have to wait here for like probably four more fucking turns and then kill these guys and then recover from killing these guys. At least this guy will get uh, his rank soon. He's up to two there, pledge to order. That's a pretty juicy auto resolve. And these guys are all anti large. Uh, I think I accept that auto resolve. I think that's fine. I think that's as good as I'm going to get. I'm just, I'm glad they're dead. I'm glad they're gone. I think I'll force March out here. Next turn I grab this and then I just move down here. Clan Spittle is not doing well. <laughs> They have, like, no balance of power anymore. Mysterious Island. What can we get from here? No movement range. That is just uh, magic item drop chance and campaign lot of sight. Those are both good, but I would prefer the movement range. I was hoping for that. I think he might be able to get here immediately. The movement range does not look like it, but usually if you can get onto land right next to a settlement like that, you can just immediately attack it, even if you're out of movement range afterwards. So the shipwreck is not going to be the number one priority there. Yes, we can. This is a very basic army. I hate this map. We're just going to auto resolve this. 74 losses, that's about accurate. And then we just occupy it. And now we have half of a region here. Clan Spittle is down to two settlements, and one of them I'm going to take next turn. The other one is probably that one. It uh, is getting a lot of territory here, though. That's the one downside. They're up to six settlements. Also, these guys have wiped out most of the demons here. I think they're both down to one settlement. Yeah. I think I can afford to slightly prematurely declare a war on Clan Pestilence, who I believe they start like in here. They're probably all around this region somewhere. I haven't even seen them yet. 1500 gold, non-aggression pact, both good things. And then I can kind of encircle Itza. I want to stop Itza from growing. We're going to go down below Itza, wipe out the rest of the Skaven, box them in, and then that'll probably be the end of this episode. Very productive one. This has gone very fast. Because we've gotten quite a few auto-resolves and the battles we have fought have been very, very quick ones. Because we just charge them. We're cavalry. <laughs> it's actually been really fun too. The tactics are somewhat limited, but that's why I'm going to be keeping this to a two-episode campaign. Ooh, um, I'm going to go with fuck that. I'm going to just auto-resolve it. Once again, I don't want to fight this battle. I just don't. I hate settlement battles. I really do. And it's even worse with cavalry. Oh, well, we're not bogged down by the filthy peasants. We're able to do so much more. Oh, Val completed. That is awesome. He's now an actual functional lord. You just grab this for free. Mushroom stew. Very nice. Oh, they're going to have 45% physical resistance for a bit here. Because this applies in the battle. I'm pretty confident. Yeah, that's, that's going to be 45% physical resistance on this entire army for 10 turns. And, oh my god, they've taken even this. So I don't even know where I go on. I'm gonna need to get a uh, military access pact to just go where I need to go here. Because, holy shit, they've, they've just taken half the fucking continent. Eight settlements? Okay, Clan Spittle doesn't look like they won that. They might have in sacked it. Oh no, they're destroyed. Completely gone, Clan Spittle. So only really one Skaven faction here, and that is Clan Pestilence. This will be very helpful in not getting wars declared on us. Uh, I would rather be the War Declarer than the War Declaree. Uh, we're just going to go for all of this because eventually I would like to confederate the king. That would be really cool. Let's try going down here. It looks like this is, yeah, Skaven Corruption 100 plus 14. So they're definitely in this uh, area. Okay, there is an army here and it is a shit stack. Yeah, we can beat that in our sleep. Uh, ooh, these guys who we just discovered both want to trade with us. Ooh, they, they really, might that actually be worth it? 
If I go for the defensive alliance, Illyrian Reavers might be on the table, and that would be pretty fun, I think. 200 gold a turn, military access, defensive alliance, and 2100 gold. They, they just want to go for that for free. They're only at 50 with me. Uh, I'll just go for that. That's a great deal. Now I can see all of this. I can eventually recruit Illyrian Reavers. I don't know if they'll be worth it, but they'll be fun to try at least. They're very fast. They kind of fill in a niche we don't have. And shit, these other two factions also want to trade with us. That's like 400 gold a turn. So I guess I'll just go for this. 1500 gold for a non-aggression pact and a trade agreement that's profitable for me. But yeah, fine. Wonderful. Cult of Sotek, and they just want the same thing as well. I have no idea why any of them actually would have wanted that with me. I don't know what I did to deserve it. Maybe it was just overseas diplomacy. Because I had plus 50 with them. That might have mostly been from that. And we can just build whatever we need to build here. Tier 4. Tier 4. Already. I don't know if Grail Knights are going to be super worth it for me. I, I haven't really used them before. I usually only go up to Questing Knights, and then I just kind of stop there. I mean, in terms of stats, these guys do not look very impressive, but maybe they are in some other way that makes them worth 100 gold more a turn than the Questing Knights. I don't know. Gorok and Melwin moving up, okay. Clan Pestilence is going down one way or another, so I may as well just get in on the feeding frenzy of their territory. Wow, that is, that is a bad move there from them. Always a big fan of just three things. And if those things happen to be significant swaths of territory, who am I to complain? I'm just gonna keep zooming over here. I think I can get there next turn, but I'm not 100% sure. Two turns, then we can get Knights Errant here. That's gonna be absolutely great. This guy will be able to recruit them, and then he'll be able to just go down here and help. Ooh, he might steal my settlement out from under me there. Yeah, he took that. Ah, I can reach this next turn, and you could not. Okay, so I will almost certainly be able to get that. Ooh, Thousand Maws are very strong. That is like a 9 to 1 balance of power versus me. I do only have one army though, at this point, and it's not even full, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Ah, that's not good. Really? We were about to start recruiting an army, man. Yeah, that's a lot of gold that that's going to cost me. 25% there? Ugh, shit. You can take this. Medium casualties, I think I'm going to auto-resolve this one. That That's about one and a half times as much damage as I would have taken in a real fight. Oh, we're not getting that much replenishment, actually. That's a little bit of a shame. I think I'll get these guys just to reinforce a little bit. Yeah, Albrecht does significantly buff the peasant's duty. 5 control, 25 growth, and 3% income from all buildings. That is pretty good for, like, a single commandment. That's crazy, actually. <laughs> this is good, but I'm pretty sure they got wiped out, so it's really more about the chivalry and going for the next one. Why are you just sitting right by my settlement there, buddy? That's a little worrying. Either auto-resolve or a real fight. I'm thinking auto-resolve there. That's enough gold that I'm going to sack it. And then I'm pretty sure, yes, I do have the movement range to come back. Okay, great. That's a full stack, and we should still have some disposable income. So close, yet so far. They do still have that settlement, but I'm 95% sure that Gorok's going to take that shit. So then, Lustria will have been cleansed of the Skaven filth. Especially the most filthy Skaven. They are they're actually just plague spreaders. They're disgusting. Uh, the second faction that we had the opportunity to confederate that is already wiped out, that is not very promising. Hopefully uh, Luan will still be alive by the time we get to that. <laughs> that would be nice. Because this may be the last battle against the Skaven this campaign, I think I'm going to manually fight this. Hmm, I kind of hate this terrain because trees. Bad. Let's see this. Just a random summon. Oh, that first charge was so good. The first guy who jumped. Badass. And they should be completely gone here. Just immediately. Uh, I can hit them with like a double charge. Literally just two lines of charges. And they keep summoning on us. Very annoying. Oh, that downhill charge though. Oh. Actually, we just hit our own knights there. Except for... Oh, no. These guys got flung. Are they dead? Eh, half of them are dead. We then send these guys in as well. I don't know how well it'll work. They might just charge into each other's backs, but I'm thinking maybe they'll just completely and utterly kill them. Those are the Regiment of Renown too. The first one just didn't go through them, but the rest of them did. Oh, and all the way through here. All of those, like, almost identical charges. And then let's see what the second line does. Let's see if this actually works. I don't know if it will. And... Oh, can't even see shit. Okay. Yeah, it looks like that second line of charges was not very effective at all. It just charged directly into the back of the previous ones, which, seeing as I gave them the identical movement orders, I, I can't entirely blame them for that. We'll get these debuffs on them as well. Oh, that's so nice. We can kill their lord, and they should all die in just a couple seconds here. 
Oh, man. They're just getting thrown right at the camera. Oh, and they're getting hit by these other knights. Oh, my God. That's brutal. Not too bad. Actually, no. 44 of the uh, kills they got out of 56 were from their lord casting on me. And, yeah, we'll just occupy that. Although, they now have pretty much nothing at all. Clan Pestilence is still sticking around. They have this one settlement, and it's currently being besieged. These guys are almost down here. Now they're three to four turns off of being where I want them to be to start dealing with these guys, Rakarth. That will definitely be the next episode, dealing with Rakarth. I'm at currently ten settlements. I would like to be at more than that, but I just haven't really gotten the opportunity. Yeah, the Cult of Sotek is out of balance of power right now. If I wanted to go for them, this would be the time, but they are now defensive allies with Itza, so... Faction destroyed. Clan Pestilence. So, in the next episode, we will be conquering the Thousand Maws, starting with these guys, probably, unless they fight one of the other factions here. Hopefully, best case scenario, they take this, and then I can take it back, and it's mine now. That would fill out this region for me, that would be great. Don't know if they will, though. Uh, this army's pretty strong, and specifically the Feral Bears have a lot of bonus versus large, like, way too much. So they will be hard to deal with, but for the most part, this faction shouldn't be too ridiculous for me. It's been fun. It's been fun. The cavalry have actually impressed me quite a bit. The most difficult part of this has been just dancing around Itza uh, by taking some of the, you know, pressure off of them. I really allowed them to expand inadvertently. And then eventually, by the end of the next episode, we will have absolutely demolished the Peasant Socialist Party. They have considered workers' rights, but have they considered workers' wrongs? Another quick message from today's sponsor. Don't forget to check out War Thunder. You can play on PC and current or previous generation Xbox and PlayStation consoles. Give War Thunder a shot today, and if you use my link in the description, you can get a free bonus pack to get you started. Big thanks to War Thunder, and back to the video. We will show that a society without labor unions is possible, as long as you rely on the backbone of foreign labor in terms of the lizard men doing all of the work for you. It's entirely possible. It's entirely possible. Uh, that'll be all. Thanks for watching. Peace out.